Hey, Divo, you want them hands? You don't want them hands, man. You don't want them hands, man. You don't see Saturday, man. My guy going live. And how about Kamaru Usman versus Meek? Usman's the guy everyone's scared of. So Usman won to fight, too. Ooh, Usman's another one at 170. That's terrifying. Yes. He easily could be a world champion. The Nigerian nightmare. He's a nightmare. Christian and, Okoye, and shout this out. This fucking dude, Emil Meek, is a beast. He looks I, like he's a, a scary dude. fuck, too, man. People don't understand how important it is to invest in your own body. Huh? Yeah, man. And, and that's, um, glad you said that. That's, that's a big thing that I've had to really learn lately is... You've got to, I've got to invest in my, my treatment and not just my treatment, but also in the things that I, I do and I use my equipment and everything. Like I bought recently, uh, I've had gloves, good gloves that I've been training with my career, but you know, the higher I've gone, I'm like, you know, I need better gloves. I need the best gloves out there that's going to protect my hands the best and allow me to prolong my career the best. So when I bought the winning gloves, you know, three four hundred dollars a glove uh, or, or for a pair of gloves and i bought two of them i need one for sparring i need one for mitts and things like that you invest in those like the cryotherapy going to a, a place for that goodness you know seeing the chiropractor treatment things like that i've taken more and more interest the more you go up and obviously the older i get because the older you get, the, the more you're in tune with your body. When I was 22, 23, I didn't care. I'd wake up, still sore, just run to the gym, live, right away. Didn't even warm up, didn't stretch, nothing, just go. And I could, my body could handle that. Now, I mean, I'm sure my body could still handle it, but there's a difference. It's all very interesting. No that, one wants to fight Usman. They tried offering big fights, and Meek was the only guy to take yeah, it. He's like, Usman. Oh, no one wants to fight Usman. Usman. No, he's a, a nightmare he's to terrifying. deal with. He's the scariest number 12 ranked guy in the world. Up, How about Usman versus Dan Tell? Jesus! Uh, see, I'm, I'm oh. Usman Colby. Or, or, or oh. Col Colby Till is what I'd like. I'd like Usman versus anybody. I would I'd like to see Usman fight for the title. I'd like to see him fight I'm, anybody. I really think right now. Yep, I think oh, he's the most on. underrated guy in in maybe in every division. That's what I think. I don't that think might people... be fair. I don't I don't know if I'd want to see him fight for the title right now. Who did now. he fight? Who was his last fight? Click on that. Thing. He's just destroying dudes. Yeah, destroying dudes. Who was his last fight? Sergio Moraes. Oh yeah, Sergio Moraes, the jiu-jitsu guy. Yo, he'd put the smash on him. Moraes is a badass jujitsu player. He's yeah, he the is. first guy that uh, tapped Crone when Crone got his black belt. He also uh, fucking gave Neil Magny that horrible Ooh. triangle in Brazil. Yeah, that's right. Magny and jujitsu do not go together. And especially that guy's jujitsu. When no. he fought in the finals, when Sergio fought in the finals of the Ultimate Fighter, it was in Brazil. Uh, he he goes, my opponent has just as much of a chance of getting me pregnant as he does submitting me. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I obviously I. You know, the biggest thing I think is not overlooking because a fight's a fight, like, you know, anything can happen in any fight. So the biggest thing is not overlooking, which is something that I've learned not to ever really do. So, but, you know, I shouldn't be in this fight. Why? You know, I, I should, and this, this guy shouldn't be in this fight with me. Why? You know, I mean, this guy, he's not, he's not really, it's a guy that scraped by in his career, he's not really made those improvements to where I feel like, I'm a guy that should be given an opportunity. Like, John Jones was given an opportunity. You know, he wasn't, you know, oh, you're next in line. So he was given the opportunity after Rashad fell out. And when he seized that opportunity and became now, you know, one of the greatest light heavyweights ever.